The DJI O3O unit is here and here's the top 8 details you need to know. The Cliffs Notes version won the price. We thought it could be anywhere between $250 and $350, but it's only $229.99. That's right, cheaper than we actually expected. When's the last time this happened? I don't ever remember Sony releasing a PlayStation that only cost $229 since maybe the PlayStation 1. Rejoice guys, the price is fantastic. Two, the weight with the camera, it's at 36.4 grams. So not the lightest video system that you can put in your quad, but being that this does get 4K 60 frames per second, you can stabilize in camera or in post with gyro flow. That's an exceptional weight savings. We're going to talk a little bit more about that at the end. The field of view is 155 degrees wide, which is pretty nice and wide, and it records to a 1 over 1.7 inch sensor. Very impressive for something so tiny. The RX uses both 2.4 for the control link and 5.8 for the video system. This gives you a potential range of up to 10 kilometers. How far is that? I don't know, guys. What? I never studied the metric system. This is America, Jack. Now the goggles will work with the DJI V2 goggles and the DJI Goggles 2. Why the DJI named both of those things almost identically is beyond me, but with them you'll be able to do 1080p 60 frames per second. And there's an interesting listing on the spec sheet. You have less than 30 milliseconds latency or less than 40 milliseconds latency. Now I'm guessing that represents some kind of high quality mode versus a standard mode. So most of us are probably going to want to go in the standard mode unless you're just really going slow to get the lower of the two latencies. That's somewhat similar to what the original system had. We'll have to wait for more footage and notes to find out if it's identically the amount of latency, which for most freestyle or even racing was very doable. Not ideal for racing, but I did it for over a full year exclusively on the old system. The input voltage, the original air unit could only go up to 4S, while the Vista could go to 6S, and this one is no exception. So you don't have to worry about what kind of voltage you're supplying it. If you have a flight controller that doesn't have an HD 10 volt output, you can wire this straight up to VPAT. Seven recommended SD cards. You're gonna be wanting to use the SanDisk Extreme, the little orange ones. Uh, those are the extreme versions or something greater than that. You want something that can handle the bit rate of all the data that's saving to that card. The unit itself does have 20 gigabytes of onboard recording storage. So when you add that SD card, it just gives you greater room to record. Very similar to that DJI Action 2. The footage looks remarkably similar to that camera. And I've been really loving that DJI Action 2. It's been kind of my main camera lately. Is it as good as a hero? No, but it's quite good. And lastly, we're going to talk about the frames. The camera is 20 millimeters wide, just like the classic DJI camera, but the lens sits a little bit far forward. Vanover actually made a really nice first release video of the O30 system, and he has an O30 conversion kit for his Vanny style frame. He actually sent me that prior to this coming out. I actually built it with that conversion kit and just didn't tell anybody. So if you watched my review of the Vanny style, you've already seen this O30 conversion kit. It consists of a different mid plate, a different top plate, and a different set of camera plate. Now, no, I wasn't set one of these units, but I did get my hands on one. Uh, one of the manufacturers, you could probably guess who it is from these images, came to test out an early prototype build of a binder fly they're going to be creating for sale with the O3 unit on board. Now the final version of this product is gonna to look totally different, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but you can see from the pictures, seeing it in real life and actually getting my hands on the new O3 unit and the new camera, it was so much smaller than I thought. It's somewhere between the size of the Vista and the Air unit, but it's closer to the size of the Vista. It is taller than the Vista, so if you have some super slam frames where you don't have much room in there, you might have a little bit of trouble for it. But for your normal freestyle frame, uh, where you have plenty of room on top, your stack is gonna be taller than this new Air unit is gonna be. It should fit in a lot of frames. But the main thing is gonna be the camera. The lens is 20 millimeters wide, so it won't fit in between the standoffs of some frames, and it's also a bit far forward. So you're going to want to get a frame that can accept this, and the Vanity Style is one of those frames out there. There's probably some other ones. Original Adobo actually showed 
uh, it fits totally fine in Bot Grinder's Demi Bot as well. I do understand that the Apex and some of the other frames, if you mount them as is, they're going to have some of these standoffs in the view. And Vanover's footage, to be fair, did have a little bit of it in the view, but you could get that adjustment right eventually. So what does this mean for a lot of us? The people that have been holding on to those Session 5s, those precious cameras, can now finally rest easy. So this will save you even more weight and it reduces the need to have this little mount on the front. Everything can be done in one tiny little package. The whole thing weighs 36 grams, right? Which you would have to have a camera and video transmitter system for any build. So really what you're saving is the weight of the camera and the mount. 20 to 30 grams worth of mount. Then you add 55 grams worth of camera. So on the low end, you're saving 80 to 85 grams. Well, if you had a full-size Hero 11 with a very protective mount, you could be going all the way up to 180, almost 200 grams. You're going to be saving by going to this system. Them. So if you're not selling that footage for commercial purposes, do you really need the absolute best or you're going to get a better composition by having a quad that can fly so much better? Are you going to have more confidence by knowing you don't have three to $400 of extra weight to slow down how you're going to fly and risk smashing it because it's mounted on top? Now you still could smash the 030, but you have a lot less risk when you're building that camera and that quad and you're gonna send it long range and you want footage, but it doesn't have to be the best. You know, when you add a $400 GoPro Hero 11, you're really risking a lot more money than just your quad itself. So this is gonna be a game changer. How many of you guys are gonna switch over to this thing? The HT Zero goggles have been delayed. The beta ones that are supposed to be shipping out a couple of days ago are potentially uh, projected to ship out on the 30th now. So there's a slight delay there. Uh, so if you're not waiting for those like I am, you might be able to jump on this DJI 030. If you think about that, the original air unit was like, what, 185 bucks? They've increased the price by less than $50 to get this new level of recording. So what do you guys think in the comments? Is this gonna be your new camera system of choice? Do you already have the goggles? Have you been waiting for the goggles to be able to be available a la carte because you didn't want the Avada? If the DJI FPV drone is the potato, did you really want that Avada? Of tater tot. I still kind of want to try it, but I don't want the motion controller thingy that I can throw in whatever quad that I want, get that HD picture, but still use whatever control system I want. If I want to use Express LRS or Ghost or Crossfire, now you can finally do that and get the camera quality. Is this a game changer? Are all of our action camera needs going to fall to the wayside? Uh, I don't think for professionals that's going to happen. For professionals, they're going to want the best footage possible. They're still going to probably use the Hero 11 or whatever the latest GoPro is at that time. But for everyone else, my goodness, I can't wait to get this into that Vanny style. Frame. There's going to be links down in the description that will help me if you click them. So I'd appreciate it.